Right, I'm recording. Hey church, I'm Tim with my wife Frankie. We lead the church in Geneva. We have seen uh, God really move this last year, not just in our lives, but in the lives of people in our church. We've got some incredible testimonies coming out of um, really incredible situations. And uh, we just want to continue on that path and uh, today pray for the city of Geneva, um, not just our church, but, but the city as a whole. Um, and the verse I'd like us to use as like a basis is Psalm 37 verse 3, where it says, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Uh, and the reason I'd like to pray this is because I read this uh, a couple of weeks ago and um, Geneva as a city can often feel quite unsettling um, because it's so fast paced, because people are on short term work contracts. Um, it's quite transient in the people that come and go. Um, and we really want people to, to, to be able to dwell, to uh, have, a, have peace. And we want the church to be the answer to that need. Um, so as well as praying for that today, it would be great if we could pray for uh, some prayer points for church. I've got three. The first is a new venue. So currently we meet in a hotel uh, and it's great. God's really blessed us with that in terms of the uh, relationship with the, the hotel, um, the, the price. We get a good rate and all that kind of stuff. But we, we, we'd like to look for somewhere more permanent. Uh, somewhere that's accessible, somewhere that we can meet midweek, uh, that we can run projects from. The second thing is numerical growth and salvations. So just our, our vision as a church is obviously to be a church that stops the traffic. Um, numerically so large that we can transform our communities. And we just, we know that numerical growth brings influence, but also uh, numerical growth brings salvation. And that is what we're uh, well, that's the Great Commission. So we, we'd love to pray into that. And the third thing specifically is praying for Swiss and French people. Um, we have a large community of expats that we love. We do love all, all of you that are watching. Um, but we know we're not here just to reach the expat community, but also locals. So praying into... Um, seeing French people and seeing uh, Swiss citizens walking through the doors of church, coming through relationships, um, and also that God will give us strategy to reach them uh, and to, to change our, um, I guess, our, our uh, community for the better by increasing the, the, the amount of French speakers we have. Um, we just to, just to encourage you and what we've seen so far, a uh, great story. Uh, when we when we first came, we had three kids and no kids ministry. But uh, at Christmas last year, we had a kids choir. So there were 10 of them all singing beautifully, really, really beautifully. Um, and it, it just brought so much joy and was a really great testimony to what God's doing in our community. Um, yeah, we're just, we're really expecting this, this next uh, year for God to move, what he's going to do in our, in our church and our people. Um, and we just want to say thank you for all the support and the prayers that, that you guys offer. Um, and we want, just want to say thanks uh, from all of us here in Geneva. You're more than welcome to come and visit. Uh, just give us a heads up and um, let us know. Ciao for now. God bless.